Hello friends, welcome. In this video, I'm going to work with uh, validation. So if we go to the new post and say create here without typing something in the title or in the body, we have this SQL error. The column title cannot be null. And let's go and work with that. So let's uh, first let's open the post controller. And here, when we store a new post, let's validate first the data. So we need to check if we have the title to added to the new post and also if we have a body. So for that, I'm going to say dollar sign request and call the validate method. And here we need to add the, an array with key. The key now is going to be the name of the input so let's say here title and the value is going to be the rule so i'm going to say required for now just to be required and the same thing for the body let's say required and if i save and come here and refresh and let's say create, we redirect it back, but uh, we don't show to the user what happened, so we just redirect it back. So let's display now the message of the error. If we go, so let's in the HTTP kernel, PHP here in the protected middleware groups, in the web, for which is for the not for the API, for the web. Here we have the share errors from session middleware. And if we click here, go to the handle method. If we have, so if the request session get errors, so if the session has errors, we are going to share to the view as the errors, okay? So let's, for that, now let's go inside the resources views post and create blade here let's check if we have any errors so i'm going to say if and call the errors variable from the middleware now if the errors if is any errors there i'm going to add the div with a class sorry a div with a class to be margin 2 and padding 2 and here let's add a ul and make a for each i'm going to make a for each dollar sign errors and get all the errors we have as single error and here display that error so li i'm going to give it a class to be text red 400 and let's display now a single error in li if i save it come here and refresh let's say create now we have a title field is required and the body field is required good let's go to the post controller and add more uh, rule here so to the title i'm going to add to be minimum of three characters and also to be maximum of uh, 10 characters and if i save it and come here I refresh and let's add something but not more than not three characters or more so i'm going to add just two characters here and if i say create now it's not showing the title field is required because we added something but the title must be at least three characters and if i type more than 10 characters now say create now the title must be must not be greater than 10 characters okay and you can add 
you can go to the Laravel documentation and check for all the rules, but I'm going to show you only the basics. Also, you can do, so let's do the same thing for the body. Five, and I'm going to add maximum of 100. And also what I want, what I work most is by adding an array here instead of a string separated by this one. But here we can do the same thing, just say required, comma, and another rule, which I'm going to say minimum of three characters and also comma and another rule. And I'm going to say max mom of uh, 10 characters and it's the same so let's go back and refresh create we have the title field is required type something now must be at least three characters and if i type more than 10 characters also it's going to be the title must not be greater than 10 characters okay Okay, but now if we want to display not all the errors here, but let's say the title error to display in here and the body error to display here, let's go in the create blade and go in the comment this one and say after the div when we add the label and the input, I'm going to add another div with the class margin2 and padding2 and here we have the blade directive for errors so error and here we need to add the name of the input in this case is title okay title here title here and in here let's display that error so i'm going to say span with class to be text red 400 and i'm going to say text small and now in the double curly braces we need to say dollar sign message the message of this error and let's copy this and do the same thing for the body just we need to change the error for body here let's save it come here and refresh and if I say create now, we have a title field is required and the body field is required. Okay, friends, what you want, if you want like this, okay, if you want the, this approach, it's up to you. I like this one more. And also in this one, I like more. So that's it for this video, how we can uh, validate our data and display the error to the four. Hope you enjoy friends. If you like, like the video and subscribe to my channel for more content about Laravel. See you in the next one. All the best.